What's up everybody? This is Giovanni from the Options Trading Channel here to talk to you about scaling out and how I use it to my advantage. I've been getting a lot of email inquiries as to why I only look for 10% gains and how is it that I actually scale out? Well, very easy, very self-explanatory. Uh, but first, I want to touch base on you that scaling out is basically an art form. Um, all the professionals do it. You can squeeze the most out of, a, uh, out of a move that you're in or the trade or the trend. And all while actually taking profit off the table, locking in those, those gains. It's what allows me to turn this bad signal here on SPY into a profitable one. And it's very easy, very simple, but a lot of people just don't understand the psychology behind it. It's the equivalent of going to the casino, Vegas, whatnot, and starting off with $1,000, getting it up to $1,000, and then going home with absolutely nothing. It's absolutely stupid and dumb, guys. You guys really need to take some money off the table, so to speak. Take your original investment out um, and a little bit more, and then you're actually playing with house money, so to speak. Let me explain to you exactly why. And we're going to use this trade, a real world trade that I actually took. It was my, I believe it was the last video that I uploaded before this one. Of course, I got a signal here. Well, really quick. We're looking at the one hour chart on the left hand side on spy. And then the right hand uh, chart, this is the daily chart on spy. We're only really concerned about the one hour chart here. I got a buy signal here on SPY on February 19th. That was the last trading signal that I received that I actually traded. Got in. As soon as I got in, I put in a limit sell order. My profit targets basically at a 10% gain um, for half of my position. Once it executes, once you actually take that 10% gain, you have basically have locked in in a nutshell, right? 5% out of your entire trade at that point. At that point, it's no longer a question of, is this going to be a winning trade or a losing trade? It's more of, the, of a question of how much you're going to make. After I sell half of my position at a 10% gain, the other half I'm holding one of two ways that I'm going to exit the, the, the trade completely. One is if it comes back down to my original buy in order for my entire amount, I'm going to exit out for break even on that second half, basically, right? Or the second half, I'm going to sell at bigger gains. This way, I am in the markets with house money, so to speak you don't you're you're not in any danger of losing more money than you have put into the trade or have made on the trade at that point i hope that really makes sense to you guys this is the single most important tactic if you will or strategy or skill that i have learned that has completely turned my trading completely around and into a profitable trader most, the majority, I would say, the majority of traders, whether it be amateurs, beginners, or whatnot, they don't understand this. This is not a skill that a lot of people talk about um, when trading, whether it be on YouTube or particular programs or whatnot. And this single tactic here will save you a lot of money, a lot of heartache and headaches and also make you a lot of money in the long run. And actually, this is one example of about three or four that I've actually taken. If you had followed the actual strategy just strictly with no rolls, whatnot, um, this, this would have happened to you a couple of times where you would have ended up losing money. But per my management skills, money management skills, I've actually squeezed out a little bit of money out of it. And I'm thankful for it. And yes, I could have actually sold at the at the high here and actually would have gained, uh, gosh, I think the sell order was 10%. And I think it, it got up to as high as 15 or 17%. I'm not 100% sure. But 
Um, and sure, in hindsight, I would have loved to have sold there, but I didn't. I actually actually ended up selling somewhere on the candle afterwards for even money. But I'm happy I didn't lose money. And that's what this game is about, guys. It's not necessarily about um, learning how to make money and, and learning how to um, make winning trades. It's a game of how not to lose any money. Once you actually put those pieces together and you understand and you learn how to not lose money in the stock market, those winners will come in um, hand over fist, so to speak. So I hope that under I hope that that makes sense to you guys. I hope you understand that methodology as to why I like to scale out. Now I'm hoping that I can start scaling um, uh, scaling up my my trades, the amount of money that I actually trade with. Currently, I only trade uh, for a total total portfolio worth of thirteen hundred dollars, not much, but it's this the skills, the skills that um, you you in acquire basically through trading small amounts. So. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching this video. I hope it makes sense. Comment down below what you thought about this video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. It'll help me out tremendously. And also let me know what uh, you, you're struggling with. Um, if you're making money, if you're losing money, if you need any help with anything in particular, I want to know about it. I want to help you guys. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. See you here on the next trading video. Hoping it's a green trade profitable trade. See you guys later. Take care. Woo! Jump.